Pixar Disney employee out on bond for taking video up a woman's dress is accused of doing the same thing again. This time at a public store. And he had some interesting comments to the customer who caught him. Fox 35's Patrick Perez is live in Kissimmee today with more on this video voyeurism arrest. So what do you have to say? Yeah, John, you think this man would have learned his lesson the first time he was caught and then lost his job because of it? Clearly, that did not phase him. I never would think that, like, especially at Publix. This Publix customer in disbelief, a man would take videos of women's dresses at a grocery store. Maybe in, like, the club or downtown, but not here. But it did happen here at this Publix in unincorporated Osceola County near Pleasant Hill Road and Bella Lago Drive Monday night. Another customer was taking another um, customer's picture under her dress. Deputies say that customer was 26-year-old Jorge Diaz Vega. A man first caught him taking video under his wife's dress, and then moments later, he saw him do the same thing to another woman. When confronted, the husband recalls Diaz Vega saying, I have been fired for this before. Please don't call the police. I promise I will delete the pictures. I don't know why he thought that was going to work. That's actually very stupid. The suspect then ran from the store, but not before leaving behind a crucial piece of evidence. Did you guys have the male's phone? Yes, yes, we have his phone. Deputies eventually caught up with him at his home, where he was placed under arrest and later charged with video voyeurism. But that's nothing new to him because Orange County deputies charged him with the same crime just two months ago. He was working at Disney's Hollywood Studios in the Star Wars area when deputies say he stuck his phone up a customer's dress. During that arrest, he admitted having over 500 videos on his phone that he took over the six years he worked there. It was his so-called, quote, guilty pleasure. Sick, sick in the head. A judge has ordered the suspect to stay away, not from just this public, but from, but from every public, I should say, as of tonight, he remains in the Osceola County Jail. We're live in Osceola County. I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News.